From Dan. Hey, Robert, I'm doing the TBS um, on another platform. And I really like the class. But I have a question about it. How it's worth to go with the onsets and with the practicing? I mean, do every day the track and track and release and learn new onsets every door, every day, or what do you recommend for students? All right, so teachers pay attention. It's just basically, you have to reinterpret these questions. The question in the question is essentially, what do I do? I'm in the program, I enjoy it, I like it. I'm looking at, he's referring to some of the warm ups in here, track and track, track and release, release and sustain, okay? And, uh, I think I need more light. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, yeah, that's a little nicer. Um, where do you start? Okay, look, go out to the, goodness gracious. Go out to the training page of the course and dive into module one and module two and module three. Okay, module one is the warm ups. All right, go out there, watch the videos. Every single workout has a video of me demonstrating how to do it. I explain how to do it as an introduction where I'm explaining it, and then there's a video of me doing it. So if you're totally lost, what do you do? You fire up the video and you just train over the video, okay? And if that's not clear enough for you, you can go to the lessons in the course where there's a, a laid out lesson that tells you exactly everything you need to do, all right? And it's also explained in the book, all right? So start with your warm-ups. You don't get a pass on not doing the warm-ups. Module one, track and track, track and release, release and sustain is something you're going to continue to do um, all the time as a beginner or even if you've been doing it for 30 years like myself, all right? You know, that's that's just that just goes into territory. You, you gotta do your warm-ups. Then you're gonna train the onsets. Go to module two and start learning the onsets. Spend maybe a week or a few days on each onset. And what you do is you're just gonna train each onset one note at a time. Starting low. Okay, for men maybe a low G, for women maybe a low B. Okay. And you just do one onset at a time. guys uh, that are in the program, uh, that's just one of the eight onsets that you can train. It's probably the first one that most of us learn. It's called track and release, where I'm tracking through a nasal and releasing into an amplified valve. All right, so uh, practice. And there's, again, videos of me doing each one of them. All right, um, and then once you have, you're warmed up and you understand the onsets, then what you do is you build integrated training routines. We take the onsets and we plug the onsets into sirens or other workouts. Typically, we start with sirens, but there's 32 workouts in the program that you can plug the onsets into. Every workout needs an onset, okay? So get to know the onsets, train them, learn their features, their advantages, their benefits, everything's great about it, Then, then and use that to sort of do the detail work, make every single onset perfect, all right? Then you plug it into, you plug the onset into, um, into the, gosh, I know why my, hang on here, what's that? Hang on guys, I'm just checking my, my video real quick. Train your onsets, okay, and then plug them into vowels so we do integrated training routines, okay? So here at the Focalist Studio, we don't just sort of do workouts, uh, one thing that I've done that my teachers do that we do that's unique is we understand the anatomy of a workout okay and the anatomy of a workout has three elements to it number one an onset how you start and you get kind of sort of smart about that number two vowels what vowel or resonance or formants you're working with and tuning with all right and three the facilities the workouts the scales the mp3 files that, that you plug them into okay so I know it got like way off on a big tangent there. So getting back to Dan's question. Dan, what do you do? Always warm up to 
make a commitment to learning all of the onsets, maybe every two days change a different one or dedicate one week to each onset. The five onsets I want you to train and study uh, first and foremost is the track and release onset, the pulse and release onset or the cry mode onset, the wind and release onset, the dampen and release onset, which is a belting onset for the head voice, and the attack and release onset, glottal attacks, which is another belting in the head voice, uh, strength building onset. Those are the five most important everyday common onsets, all right? Um, and then you take those onsets and you plug them in the vowels, and we call them integrated training routines. The point is, is that teachers and students can build their own customized routines to address their own specific problems, okay? <clears throat> That's my advice. Warm up, learn the onsets, and start building routines and start training, okay? Um, and by the way, that's all explained. That's all explained in the program stuff. So if you're, watching, if you're doing the, the lectures and you're reading the book and you're, 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 you're participating in the program, you'd know that. Anyways.